What am I gonna play? Stub the zombie? Nah, maybe later. Hey, how about black? No. no. Hey, what's this? Hey, I know this. This is something important. This is something I gotta do. Hidden Invasion. The name speaks for itself because I found it by accident in a pawn shop. It was developed by a small company called Cons Conspiracy Entertainment. I got a little tongue tied right there, but I ended the finish. They also developed a game called Enclave. I'm pretty sure some people know about that. And this game was also the spiritual successor to a little game on the Dreamcast called Soul Fighter. But we're going to get that to the later date. Starting the game, you get the choice between a boy or a girl. Given with choices like this, both characters have their own traits. But I'm an equal opportunity kind of guy, so we're picking the girl. My name is Karen Bright. I'm an ex-Marine, now working for the police, operating in danger areas. One day I was transferred to our new world president's prestigious capital, Alpha City. Oh holy shit, did I just fall into an Eiffel 65 music video? I can give him a free pass on this one. This game did come out in 2002. I'm pretty sure if we were to look back then, we'd see every game looking like this. But gameplay is the more important mechanic right here. That's what we're looking towards, right? Okay, so it's a beat-em-up game. That's cool. I'm a big fan of beat-em-up games. Some of my favorite consists of Streets of Rage, Golden Axe, and Battletoads. So I might not totally hate this game. But in all seriousness, what the fuck's up with this camera? This isn't an isolated issue. The camera fucks up constantly to a point where you're always disorientated. Most beat-em-up games like this do end up using a similar camera technique, but it's usually at a fixed angle so you don't end up with problems like this. We're just getting started with this game. The objectives are fairly simple. Deactivate these bombs, beat up the bad guys, turn off these switches, fight the boss, get to point B. Simple stuff, however that gets rid of it real quick. I should note my favorite part of this game is that all enemies have names like Stuart, Terry, or Kim. What the fuck bad guy goes by the name Stuart? That's the least threatening name I can think of. Well, besides Bobo. And that's taking it for a stretch. Everything about this game pisses me off. From repetitive objectives to aggravating fights to the fucking invisible wall that forms you run into enemies. Yeah, if you run into enemies, which is all the time, you have no choice but to fight them. I can understand that's a mechanic from old school beat em up games. But it doesn't work here when you're on a goddamn time restraint. I've yet to see it hit zero, but I can only imagine it hits you with the fucking game over. Alright, boss fight time. Let's take him out the easy way. Okay, let's use our fist. You know what I just noticed? There's no music to this game. Well, I'm gonna fix that in a second here. Once I had come to, this terrorist who had saved me from that weird creature started telling me what was really happening. His story seemed absolutely ridiculous. His name was Jim, and he was part of a resistance group fighting against an invasion of alien beings who had... Okay, so we're taking the they live approach. I can dig that. I'm a big fan of John Carpenter. Maybe this game won't be so bad as it seems. Alright, I have to destroy this satellite and expose the aliens. Easy breezy. I just fucking did that with my fist. Now it's time to blow this pop stand. Having just managed to escape into the sewers to avoid the police that were still out on the streets, I decided to go and warn the president, who with a bit of luck shouldn't have been contaminated yet. Jim showed me the path through the tunnels often used by the resistance fighters and which could lead to the basements of the president's home. How convenient. Turns out the answer's in the White House kitchen. Hold the fuck up. Hold up one second. Hello, White House? Do you want to hear rats? 
because that's how you get fucking rats. When you get to the president, you learn that you and him are the last two people who aren't controlled by aliens. You figure the president will be number one on any alien shit list. But then again, these are the same aliens that are sending an entire army towards one person and losing. I'll give them credit. They managed to kidnap the president after I tore through his evil security force, but they made the mistake of messing with my wavy armed president. Not only am I going to rescue the president, I'm going to arm a nuclear warhead, take said warhead, shine it off, dust it off real nice, turn it sideways, take that son bitch, shove it right up, they're candied asses! Didn't think I'd beat a game this time. Well, I just blew your mind. I give it a D plus, just because I enjoy beat em up games. I'm Thor Stan with the Kickback Gamers, and remember, if you enjoyed this and all our other videos, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here.